Thank you very much, Dakota. Oh, did they swap? Battle. They did not. They did not swap. It's going to be Matu. a Tumba Man Quap and a Miracle Anti Mage. And he's got mid items. Oh it, my god. is going. I thought maybe for a second they're like, all right, we're going to try to. They're going to try to out mind game Vega, and they're like, all right, we're going to throw like AM mid versus Legion, which sounds pretty awful. The Matu mid. But no, they're throwing Matu mid on the Quap. Oh, uh, yeah. No, this early game, both teams. Everything they want on their course. No one really being totally shut out at the laning stage. Overall, in fact, it is Vega Squadron only slightly getting a little bit better. Very, very close indeed on this early game. Uh, yet to see uh, anyone die. Miracle is going to be charged upon here. Let's see if they have the control with the Power Strike and the Chilling Dirt. They've got it. That's going to be your first blood. Vega making things happen on the top lane. It's going to be there from Vega. Slayers TPs in with the charge. Again, a second kill for Vega Squadron. Taking good uh, control of these lanes, making good reads as well, knowing where and when they can make a play and not be punished. Yep. Did Matu just try to scream? In the uh, he's already blinked as well. Uh -oh. His blinks on cooldown for six seconds. Have they got the damage to bring him down? He's brought down low with that nuke. Yeah, got they've him. got him. Slayer. Sioma the Slayer making the movements. Let's go out. Though. Will one bash be enough, do you think? It might be. One bash should be, might just be enough, yeah. Relying on the RNG, they happen there. I'm still like Aloha is doing incredibly well. He's, he is like, he's loving life. Solo XP only. and pretty much free farm. Yeah. Top lane, there's the go being made, but it's going to get punished. The time is liquid themselves, Dino. jumping back onto the Sand King. Yasha in hand. Tries best to apply some pressure on that bottom tier one. Afterload. Oh dear. Bit of a wraparound coming through again. They'll drop the Echo straight away. Ice Park to follow through, but Afterlife still gets the chance to pour a strike out. They should have enough damage to find him. Ooh, he's falling low. It will pop. Can they get a kill in return? That's the question. This could be a pretty big ice blast coming in from the southwest, and they've got it. They'll get the jewel win. They'll take themselves the Jakiro. They've just Radiance been getting tower. just away. That's Radiance super low. Tower has fallen. But now they're able to at least claim the tier one away from the troll. Is their next target? GH in the middle lane. He hold this back. Uh, he's going to be another strike. Uh, ice blast. Uh, he's going to uh, only get the pass over. It doesn't matter though. As they get the connection. Jules there for G to get the kill. Liquid. Can they get anything in return? They'll lay down the macro pyre onto Shiroma the Slayer. They'll get both of them. They'll get themselves the AA. They should get themselves the breaker. He's trying to charge up onto the quad, but he's not going to get it. And this time, Matumba turning up into town. Grants the double kill. G in trouble as well. Liquid punishing Vega very hard there for that. Slightly. Uh, Slightly knee jerk dive there. Hey, they saw the Earth uh, Shaker. They knew that they could get the kill. But get Aloha here with that ward. They do have vision of him. It's a deep move, and it could be reacted upon. And if they don't kill him immediately, Aloha Dance tries to turn, gets the axes out. There's a charge coming through, but there's the control. They'll get the kill. Massive nuke, though, from G comes in. The mech comes through. Can they kill Matumba in time? Echo Slam comes out. There's the Ice Blast, and Matumba Man's gone. GH as well in a whole lot of trouble as he pops. Kuro trying to turn, but the Shrine Heal's there for Vega Squadron, and they get themselves a third. Great reaction and grouped up absolutely perfectly there for G to just send those arrows flying down. Instant reaction from G to TP, and everyone else just starts rotating. It's a tough place to go for that kill. They it, they took him a little. They took it took the took liquid a little bit longer than probably expected to bring that troll warlord down because of how tanks set up. They can punish this. GH comes in straight away with the snap. No messing around. Jump forward as well. They're looking for the combo here. Bring them down low, but it's in fact Vega that come out on top. They've already taken down the shaker. BKB out just in time from Aloha Dance to move in for a second, and G's not done. Jumps up to the high ground, has the jewel onto Matumba Man, and they find themselves a third. Miracle oh, will oh, clean up the AA. Damn. But overall, there. Did you see Ron and the Yeah. To the man. Ford here onto the AA. Full turn to get the Ice Blast off. In fact, they get, they're ready to fight. AA might not even die. Silent is walking it off. He will tick down. But again, Vega coming out on top. They get two. They're not done yet. Burrow strike straight forward as they get a third. And Liquid have got to stop throwing bodies like this. I mean, they, they're creating space for Miracle, but they are dying over and over again for it. Is under attack. It, it, you know, it's space. It, it stops being a little bit space, but you can't see lose three over every guy. <laughs> no, first two, then they pick four Dyer's strength tanky cores that don't really care if their mana gets burned too much. They don't have to worry about a big mana void coming out or anything like that. And they, it appears they can stand toe to toe and actually that sustain lockdown. Uh, After left bottom. Can they kill him off? It looks like they can. They've got the control. Take him down. I mean, it looks like he's got Halberd queued up. Yeah, Halberd's perfect versus the Lincoln Spheres since he already sees one. Break the Lincolns and have your own way to actually oh. off. Bottom lane afterlife. Ah, they can look for the kill. They'll get it. More than enough damage. Very nicely done there. Quick is that the gem one. too? Yep, it is. Oh, it is. 
You're right. Uh, can they get out there? That's the question. G heading forward. We'll find the duel onto GH. That at least gets a bit of bonus damage. Shredded. That battle trance. Oh, we actually picked it up now. It's Matu. Now oh, it's they will get the AA. No, not having to worry about that blast in the fights is nice, especially they get more. They're looking to move forward. They'll get the vacuum out, holding the back. Brett Miracle jumping in, looking for Shoma the Slayer. A lot of dance, forcing back Kuro here with the axes. It's going to be a duel on the back lines as G just goes straight in, gets the successful win. He's looking to chase down Kuroki. He ooh, not going to quite get the damage out there. The Ice Path holds back the Legion. A lot of dance did manage to end up himself the kill here. Can they get Afterlife? They can. Liquid to find a third. Curl, eyes on to the Legion. Loha Dance is ready to go back in. Loha Dance looking for the easy kills, jumps in onto the Shaker. Doesn't get, has he got enough bashes yet? The BKB's back out. Pops the BKB, able to lock down onto one, moves over to Kuroki, picks up the double kill. Miracle jumps across. <laughs> He's just like running in. He's I going, and Loha Dance is just playing absolutely ham here. Miracle pops the Manta style. They can't really man fight up against this with the vacuum. Vega now have to run back. Loha Dance being chased down. That's a big kill for Miracle, but he has got the ages. He's going to be back and ready for round two. G will unfortunately be able to jump back up to the high ground and avoid this. Where's that? But he's not getting lucky with the bashes, I tell you what. Matuma Man seems to have some anti bash installed. He, he's fine every time. And uh, uh -oh. now he's going to look to turn. Jumps in, has the yours. There's still the BKB available on a lower dance, and he'll pop it. Realizing it's going to be needed, tries to man up against Miracle. Needs some teammate backup, and he's got it. Afterlife comes in with the first Burrow Strike. Nether Strike as well, holding GH in position. But the rest of Vega are backing off. Looks like they'll just leave Shioma the Slayer as the sacrificial lamb here. As his charity. participants will allow the red with the DD pickup. Radiant he just fires through the backdoor regen. They do have a fortification though. And uh, now he will jump back. The rest of Liquid are there ready to fight. There's going to be a smoke up from Vega. Looking to come into this one. Lower Dance can get the lead in with the Invis. It's like a re-smoke here from Liquid as they want to go back in and try and find that wraparound. Who's going to get the jump on who though? That is the Radiant question. Middle tower with the high ground at the moment. Slayer heading forward. Will dispel some of the smoke. They'll pop down the Fissure. Dust as well. Miracle tries to jump forward. Won't quite get the jump onto Slayer. Now Slayer can turn. Have the Nether Strike into the Jewel. The Lynx has been popped, but the Ice Path comes out. Can they keep Miracle alive? The bashes. No, they can't. Vega find the big kill. Take down the Anti-Mage. And now try and chase for more. GH on the retreat, jump forward from G. We've got the slowdown here from the Vortex. And this is almost certainly going to be a dead shaker as well as Vega Squadron get a second. Clear up the middle lane. They move towards the top. Miracle still holding onto this buyback. Not wanting to come back into the fight, hoping that the rest of his team can try their best to hold Vega off. But the low enough just mans up, gets himself the tier three, will be jumping on, but again, that quick BKB timing from the low enough. Meaning that Liquid can't get the follow-up. It's blocked up a little bit, but it doesn't matter as Liquid have their attention drawn towards G. Slayer charging across, will be cancelled by the vacuum, and again, Shoma the Slayer kind of throwing his life for them here, trying to give time for the rest of Vega Squadron to get out of there. Mind Control is hot on the chase, though. And they punish this. Jump forward from Miracle. G pots the BKB, but the bash comes through from the Anti-Mage. Have they actually got the damage to fight through this Legion? That's the question. No, he's looking to turn. He goes for the Jewel straight up. Can he get away with this? He's bringing it down low. The Yule's up is there to make sure that the Jewel isn't successful. And they do then get the slam down, dunk down, kill on to This Vega just waltz up into the base. But they they've, and they've got the creeps close enough on the other lanes. They're ready to try and take some more. Some more structures here from the side of Liquid. Tier 3 falling down low. Yeah, indeed, Aegis, BKB, a low on Ants, not scared at all. Moves in for more, Miracle will jump forward. We're going to try and bring him down, has the Abyssal Blade drop, and the Mana Void falling down low, but Lower Dance, he's still alive here. Finally gets back, you back. There's the Echo Slam. They've lost the Aegis on the Legion. He's going to be back for round two. Shanking down, immediate buyback. He does have the boosted travel to get himself back into the fight. They find Mind Control. He buys back G, looking towards the Aegis. They get him down with a new. That's going to be a second buyback from Liquid. They're all coming back into this one, trying to hold these racks, and it's working for the time being. They take down the AA, quick burrow strike down to the low ground, but the jump force there from Liquid. They have the all set up into the ice path. They will hold. They get the double kill on Miracle, and they keep those bottom racks alive. Dupin, the Tumor Man, jumping forward, and with the Sheba's Guard, they're going to go in on this. The Abyssal Blade is dropped down, Miracle blinking forward, but there's the charge through. The Ice Pass as well connects onto Miracle, and they manage to get the Jewel Lockdown as well. They block the Lincolns, catch the Anti-Mage, take down Miracle. Can they get more? Slayer falling low, but Tumor Man nukes him, jumps forward onto G with the Dagger. Kuro and Mind Controller there as well, as they surround the Legion Commander. G trying to fight back, but the Ice Pass there locking him down. Mind Control gets yes. the double kill. Quid? 
losing the anti mage but taking the overall momentum of that fight. Boring anti mage. No. There's been a lot of action elsewhere. I mean, the first pick's Spirit Breakers and stuff. How's that happen? Oh, they're they're going to jump in onto Lower Dance, but that force may just save him. The vacuum wall comes out, but Lower Dance gets the BKB off in time. Vega looking to disengage though. They know that they don't have the advantage here. There's BKB running low. There's the follow through. You all set him into the Sonic Wave. Mana Void. A lower dance is down along with Shoma the Slayer. The scale is balanced. They quit. Get two very big kills to do so with the pressure that Miracle can put on. He's straight up to the tier three. Look at him jump forward. They put the Lincolns. The Manta comes out though. There's the Burrow Strike and Epi. Absolutely huge. They're holding the three of them back. Miracle trying to man up though. Turns towards G, but G gets the BKB off. They've already put the Lincoln. He has not the jewel, but the damage is not quite coming through here with the evasion and such. Miracle, he survives. Blinks out. They've lost the Legion here. They've not put back left on the jewel. Oh, sorry, on the troll. He's not come back into it. G's actually going to be the one to buy back himself on the Legion. But to my man, jumping forward, looking for Afterlife. Got the Yule set up. Then when he followed through lockdown, there's the Burrow Strike. Jump forward from Miracle, though, straight in. Onto oh the Sanky. Sanky's gone. Now the buyback finally comes out from Aloha Dance. The charge in, straight away. Looking at lockdown GH. They'll make sure the Shaker's out before we can throw anything out in this fight. Net the Strike connects onto Mind Control. Catches the Darks here on the retreat. And Aloha Dance isn't done yet. Looking towards Matuma. But a quick yields and a blink out will keep the co-op safe. Their fortification? It was just used. It was just used. This is the, this is the, this is gonna be my creep for sure. Oi, oi, oi. Nice. There we go. Radiance top barracks. Eight thousand gold in the bank too. If he wants to finish up that MKB and swap items out to build to do the damage to the troll better. Versus that evasion and versus the uh, Legion Commander. It might know. Couple more seconds. They've got. Okay, they've got it. Can they get away with it before Liquid has over? Yeah, with the damage that the G's built up, they'll take this in no time at all. They've got it. Yeah, they got it. So Vega may be up against Mega Creeps. That helps them a lot. They've got the Aegis and Cheese. Since they don't have the buybacks on either the uh, Troll or the Legion, it's going to be pretty important to have that as long as they don't get killed before they can use Cheese. Here we go. Life, Humble. Humble. spotted out though. There's the Hex Trainer. Miracle jumps in. Afterlife got Slayer. Actually trying to turn over the fight. Commits with an Ender Strike. Charge through as well. He needs backup and he needs equipment, but he's not going to get it. The Ice Bomb comes up for Kuro. There's the jump in for G. Has the jewels and Shakira. Shakira's down. Buybacks immediately coming out from Vega Squadron. Both looking to return to the fray. On the sideline, Afterlife comes in with a Burrow Strike. Immediately on to one of them. Have they got the damage to finish off? G jumps what they have. They'll take down GH, but GH and Kuro buying back in. Miracle pops the ages, takes down the troll. Charge forward will be cancelled as Matuma Man holds back the Spirit Breaker with the Yules. But Afterlife in with the episode of the Burrow Strike as well. BKB pops out from Miracle. Just picked up. Trying to bash up against Lower Dance. But he gets the BKB out himself in time. Matuma Man has the Lincoln's proc. Ready to go back in. The Miracle the BKB is going to run out. Slayer charges away. Any further catch, Miracle looking for Bashes, G. Where the bash Needs is. the bash. But Tumor Man's there as well. By his time with the Yule set up, Shiva's girl comes out as well. G. Falling low. Four star back ones. Can they save the Legion? Ice Puff blocking off the rest of Vegas. Squadron three charge man up. Turn around, but he's not going to do it. G's gone. Slayer falling low as well. He's going to drop two down without buyback. As Liquid on the verge of closing it up, and they will. Oh GG well played is called. And Liquid take game one.